Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer tonight. We're going to be praying out of our New Zealand prayer book. So if you've got a copy, open it up to page 167. You could also follow the link online or you can just sit back and um, enjoy praying with us. So let's take a moment and enter into a time of prayer. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labour that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. Etifano, our help is in the name of the eternal God who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love, which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being. All that we are, have been and shall be is known to you. To the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, flow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Tonight I'm going to read um, Psalm 27. So it's not um, a psalm, it's in our night prayer for tonight, but if you've got a Bible, you can turn to Psalm 27 or just sit back and um, listen to the words as I read them. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of my Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above, above the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says to you, seek this his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my saviour. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors, 
do not turn over to the desire of my foes. For false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. We're now going to take a moment to hear a piece of music. Um, and this song is called Take Courage and it's by Christine DiMarchio. Um, and I'm just going to read the last two verses of Psalm 27 and then I want you just to sit and um, listen to this piece of music. I will remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. It's a really beautiful piece of music and I like this idea that God is with us in our waiting and at the moment there's so much waiting and uncertainty and not knowing you know what's going to happen will we move into a new um, level will we stay where we are what's happening with school what's happening with work um, but it's really wonderful to be able to pause and be reminded that God is actually present with us in our waiting and um, to just take time to really meet with him in this space that we're in. So turn with me to page 178. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God, of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God. I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen.
Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I now invite you um, in your bubbles and in your homes um, to spend a moment just praying for your family, your friends, um, your school friends, your workmates, anybody that you know that you can think of. Um, just bring them before God, pray for um, the community that we live in, Timaru, New Zealand, and our wider world. So I just give you a moment to do that. You can go out loud. I'll be quiet so that you've got some space. Lord, I bring before you all those that um, we've been praying for. We pray for your peace, your presence, and your love to be with all of our family, all our friends, our community, um, and our world. Thank you that you are with us in this time of waiting and uncertainty. May we find you in this time. May we experience your presence with us and um, bringing comfort when we need it, bringing joy when we need it, and bringing just your abundant love. Amen. I now invite you to pray the Lord's Prayer um, with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. And we're going to turn to prayer number six tonight. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of this world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys and new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. To God the Creator, who loved us first and gave this world to be our home. To God the Redeemer, who loves us and by dying and rising, pioneered the way of freedom. To God the Sanctifier, who spreads the divine love in our hearts, be praise and glory for time and for eternity. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. I pray that you have a beautifully peaceful sleep. Lovely praying with you. Good night.